Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we are finally doing the taste test of the Rose and Dragon subscription box for June. Now, I know I did do the mass unboxing and I said to come back later in the month for the taste tests, but I kind of took a week off and it was unplanned, which means everything's a bit behind schedule, but we are finally tasting and uploading this video. So I'm gonna turn around and show you our cup of teas. So first up, we have our mint choc chip rooibos, and it is a gorgeous golden color. It's typical rooibos. Next up, we have our rose gray, which is a black, and it is actually quite a deep color, so I'm looking forward to that one. And finally, we have our citrus paradise, which is a fruit blend, and it's kind of a very, very pale, pinky apricot color in real life. And if you can hear some ducks in the background, this is what's going on next to me. Right there, bud, you hungry? You've got a lot of it on your head. And under the camera. So if you do hear ducks in the background, I'm really sorry, but they're not old enough to go outside by themselves yet. So I'm gonna try and do this quick so I can go and take them in the pond because they're being noisy. All right, so we will do the sniff test and I'll tell you the ingredients and then we will taste afterwards. So first up, we had the mint chuck mint choc chip rooibos. So this is 50% rooibos, cacao nibs, which is 37%, peppermint, sunflower petals, and natural flavoring. And the sniff from the bag, it smells exactly like mint choc chip ice cream. Oh, I'm really not getting much of the rooibos smell, which doesn't bother me at all. It smells really good. And from the cup, from the cup, it's a lot more rooibos-y with like a hint of the chocolate and the mint, but completely different smell palettes between the two of them. Next one up, the Rose Grey, which is Sri Lankan black tea, 77%, Chinese black tea, 10%, orange peel and rose petals with some natural flavoring. I'm wondering if the natural flavoring does have some bergamot in there because it's called a grey, it makes me think that it's a take on an Earl Grey. It kind of smells like it does, but it also, I'm definitely getting the rose petals, but it kind of has like a vanilla note. I don't know if that's just me, but that is what I am getting. And from the cup, from the cup, it just kind of smells like a black tea. Very intriguing. Hmm. And our final one, which is the Citrus Paradise. This is apple pieces, rose hip, hibiscus, lemongrass, orange peel, and natural flavoring. Now, when I was steeping this up, it just, to me, overwhelmingly smelled like grapefruit. I really think one of the natural flavorings must be grapefruit. Because that's what I'm getting. It just really is. But from the cup, from the cup, I'm getting more of the lemongrass. But it's all very subtle smells from the cup. Hmm. Okay. Now I did steep these a while ago, so we should be good to just go straight in for the taste. So the mint chop chip. is divine. Oh wow. Five out of five. And there's a five golden tea bags right there. That tastes exactly like if I just melted, but then also heated up mint chop chip ice cream. I'm completely there for it. Love that one. The rose gray. This one's quite strong. I think for my personal preferences, I'd probably steep it for a little bit longer. So the recommendation was 100 degrees for four minutes for all three. I'd like to try this one again, steeping it maybe two minutes. But I, I, I don't know because it's not listed, but I do feel like one of the flavors is probably bergamot oil. It's not my favorite, but I have said before, Earl Grey's just, I'm not the biggest fan. I do sometimes appreciate a take on an Earl Grey, but not always. I, I think a lot of people would really enjoy this because a lot of people really like Earl Grey. It's just not my taste preferences. And finally up, the Citrus Paradise, which I feel like is gonna be really nice. Mm. I'm tasting the lemongrass. 
I'm not really getting the hibiscus, which is quite an overpowering flavor sometimes. They have made such a mess. <laughs> I really like this one. It's more, the lemongrass is really, really coming through. I would love to see what this one tastes like as a cold brew. So alongside in the box, we get a lot of information. Oh, and I completely forgot to say that this time. So we did very kindly get sent from Gabrielle, the um, owner, a fourth packet. So this is the study zinger, which was in last month's box. And I adore, this one is so good. I've almost run out myself, but this was sent to us very kindly to go in the tea giveaway. So this tea is going hoo -hoo, straight in our giveaway. And if you can see, this is busting open. We need to get this sent soon before it did too much to send. So if you haven't seen before, I am doing a huge 100 tea tea giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment down below to let me know that you have subscribed and tell all your friends about it because the quicker we get there, the quicker someone is going to win. So along with the 100T prize, I'm also gonna be donating 100 pounds to All Hands and Hearts, which is my favorite charity, and 10 pounds to the winner's chosen charity. Thank you very much to Rose and Dragon for sending that over for us to enjoy. So back to what you get in the box. This month we got this big pamphlet we didn't, which we didn't get last month. It has some simple steps to following your own tea tation, so tea meditation. Feel the warmth of the cup that contains the hot fluid. <sighs> I'm not sure I really want to do that today. It's boiling. <laughs> Notice how the cup moves. Notice how the tea moves in the cup. Smell the tea, feel the heat of it on your face. Drink your tea, take it slow, small steps at a time. Oh, and we have sneak peeks for next month, which I actually, other than the one I just saw, I cannot remember at all what they're going to be, so I am not going to look at this. And then we get a card for each of our teas. So it does tell you how long to steep for, the temperature, and whether or not they recommend with or without milk. <laughs> and also tells you, so up front we've got Citrus Paradise. A light summertime fruit blend that will make your taste buds sing. Juicy like an ice lolly. Ooh, that would actually make a really good ice lolly mixed in with lemonade. Completely caffeine free, so it can be enjoyed any time of the day. Rose Grey, an updated floral version of the classic Earl Grey. So it, that it does explain why it's not to my taste buds. Fragrant notes of rose and vanilla. I thought I smelled vanilla in there. And mint chocolate chip, a naturally caffeine free rooibos blend with a sprinkling of peppermint, a dash of cacao nuts, and a topping of sunflower petals. That might make that might make us reminisce of childhood days spent frolicking at the beach, guilt-free mint chocolate heaven. And on the back, you get some space to write your own notes on what you think of the tea. And it also has always has like a little quote and some mindful tips and tricks. And I really just like this little touch. The point of this box was to get people to connect mind and body with the tea experience and slow down and just take some time for yourself, which is kind of what tea is about, right? We're not coffee drinkers here. If you're a coffee drinker, it's okay. I don't actually think you're horrible. Just tea is better. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit quicker than normal, hopefully, and um, I will see you in the next one. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and have a fantastic day. All right, bye.